I gotta take this out. <laughs> Salve. Permesso. Our neighborhood protective dog. The biggest mistake people make is avoiding to make mistakes. Ah, so much cleaner in here. Almost everyone has this negative perception of mistakes. The reality is that it's an inevitable part of life. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you can start living your true, authentic life. What is it that we all desire as human beings? Happiness, fulfillment, health, wealth, acceptance, these are just to name a few. What happens when we feel like we don't have these things? We create inner tension and we do that by not accepting the situation for what it is. Look, I know nobody likes making mistakes and trust me, I've made a few of my own. But instead of trying to resist that feeling or emotion, by just shoving it down with alcohol, drugs, overeating, whatever that may look like, we create more tension. For the fact that we don't want to accept the situation for what it is. And it's really easy to get lost in that. You see, the magic of mistakes, if you want to call them, is that we're shedding all parts of ourselves and the beauty in that is that we're becoming something new by giving up something that is old and no longer serves us my advice is to always try try something new ask for that raise that might seem crazy to you pick up a camera and start filming like i did one day completely not knowing what the hell i was doing What I'm saying is don't shine away from what is internally true to you. And yes, it might sometimes lead to anger, frustration, nervousness, but all it is, it simply is just a bunch of triggers that create a disconnection from what you truly want and the deep-rooted programs that don't align with your true self. Everything that I've said leads to me sharing something, something that I've never done publicly, but I find great passion for in my personal life. It's something I feel tension for every time I think about sharing it with you, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I found great value in learning about this topic. And if you're someone like me who's interested in always finding ways to better themselves, I know you will find great value in this too. In the near future, I'll be releasing a talk with someone who is near and dear to me, someone who had an enormous effect on my personal growth journey. We'll be discussing psychological triggers. We'll explain the different types of triggers, how they influence our decision making, how they influence our behaviors, and ultimately we'll be leaving you with different kinds of tips to help you enhance yourself, enhance your life, improve self-awareness, and ultimately how to be in control with yourself internally 
regardless of what happens externally. If you want early access to this, join by clicking the link in the description, answer a few questions, very, very simple, just two questions, and you'll get priority access as well as being a part of the inner circle. So click, click the link.